We're talking about the Mantis pod and why I'm going to return it. So let's just jump right in with the cons. The con is the price. This thing right here is a hundred dollars for the for the normal version, and then if you want the Arca Swiss mount. $150. If you're the type of shooter that's putting this camera on different mounts like a tripod and then you want to take this off and put it on a gimbal, maybe you're a wedding shooter, you're definitely not going to want to go with this normal version because you're going to want the Arco Swiss plate and you're going to want to unscrew it and put it on different mounts. And speaking of pros, there are three pros to this tripod. The first one is the build quality. This thing is sturdy, it's really nice, and there's quality to this. Not only that, it's built tough and it has a small form factor so you can easily break this down and throw it in a luggage. You can even put this in your pocket. Secondly, it's super user friendly. One of the most underrated things about this tripod in my opinion is the way the grip feels. So it's not your traditional rod where it's circular, it's got like this oblong oval shape which feels really good in the hand when you're trying to vlog. It just like fits in your palm perfectly. I can't sing enough praises about how this grip feels in the hand. It's just such an underrated feature of this product and I'm so surprised that they don't actually talk about this. Contrast that with a small rig mount or a Sarui mount. Those are just very circular and very, I'd say harder to hold. It's more perpendicular and so you gotta like have your wrist like, like this which is causing a lot of tension here. With this actual Mantis pod, you can hold it like this so that your wrist doesn't hurt. That's speaking to this angle right here, which remains steady. When you have this thing on a table, check that angle out. It's like this, and then let's say you're ready to like pick up and move on, you're running and gunning, check out that angle. It stays the same, so you don't have to like keep adjusting this thing all the time. And last but not least is this Mantis mode. This is the whole reason why I wanted to try this tripod out, because it is very convenient to be able to hang this on something anything really and just vlog on a fence or on a ledge or something like that. So I definitely wanted to get that and try it and see what it was all about. And it actually works really well. Maybe you're a vlogger or you are in an urban setting and you have lots of places to hang this thing. But for me, I learned more about the way I shoot, which is more handheld like this and it's tabletop like videos like these. The Mantis mode is what compelled me to try this product out and it worked really well in theory and conceptually, but it wasn't very useful in practice because I didn't really find myself needing to hang this onto anything. And speaking of things that I don't need is I don't need that long vlog thing. Say you're you've got this tabletop like this and then you want to change it to long vlog mode. Maybe you don't have a, a, a wide lens. Maybe you're doing a 24 to 70 situation. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put this thing down. You're gonna to pull this out, push this button, extend this all the way out, right? That locks in into place. Then this comes off right here, and then you plug the, uh, I forget what this is called, into here, something like this, and boom, now you've got your vlog mode. I'm sure this comes out some more, um, but then boom, you're, you're like vlogging like this, which is, you know, then you're back to the circular grip right here. You don't have the cushy thing that fits in your palm well, um, and this is definitely not right. Um, you definitely can probably extend this angle a bit more, but you know, um, it, it's a lot of clicks. And so who is this for? This is for the vlogger who's running and gunning and recording their face a lot. You're the type of vlogger or YouTuber that it's all about you and your personality. If you're behind the camera and you're doing tabletop tripod shots, you do not need to spend money on this. Sorry if this is coming across as a negative product review, it's not that at all. It's just that these are more in the nice to have category than the need to have category. I mean, if you don't care about bang for buck or you're not worried about a budget, definitely this is the best of the best. Go with it. It's a solid product, but if you already have something that you're working with, buying something like this will get you minimal gains. And the other group of people that this is for is people who don't have any sort of tabletop tripod mount yet and it's your first one. This is a really solid one to get or if you're just trying to splurge and and buy yourself something nice. This is a very good product. I'm just saying it's not something you need. So if you already have something like a tabletop tripod, like a Sirui or a small rig or any sort of tabletop tripod, even if it's like a small travel one that you put on your table, something like this is not really gonna benefit you unless you're a vlogger and you're constantly taking shots of your face and yourself because the grip is really nice and this angle is super nice. I can't emphasize enough how good this feels to hold if I was a vlogger constantly taking video of myself, which unfortunately I'm not, or fortunately. 
TLDR, if you have some extra money in the bank or you want to splurge on yourself or somebody else, get this thing. It's a great product. Get the pro version, get the one with the Arca Swiss plate so you can take the camera off and throw it on different things and you're not bound to just this. However, if you're kind of low on budget, tight on budget, then you might want to stick to the tabletop. It all depends how you're going to use it. If you're a more behind the camera shooter or a tabletop shooter, then you don't need something like this. If you're a vlogger, then definitely this is really, really nice to have. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section down below. I'm super active on the platform and I love to answer questions about products like this. So if you want a raw and unfiltered perspective on the tools that McKinnon and Maddie use, feel free to subscribe down below. I don't have any ties to these brands. I don't have any obligations and hope that was helpful. Make it a great day. Catch you on the next one.